What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming a back workout for you guys and it's a great workout to lose that back fat because the whole time I kept my heart rate up, supersetting with movements that would spike my heart rate along with some lifting to really shape our back and then lose the fat as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I am sweating, so I hope you guys sweat too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with a voiceover. I'm gonna be talking about this back workout, which I superset a lot with high intensity movements. But before I get started, I wanted to ask you guys if there's any sit down videos that you guys want me to record, whether it's nutrition, whether it's my May favorites coming up, which I kind of want to do, anything you want me to record, I will do it for you. Um, just let me know in the comments below. I love talking about nutrition comments. I know my original subscribers know that my bachelor's degree is nutrition and dietetics. So um, anything like that, I'd love to talk about. So the first exercises that you guys saw were just the kettlebell rows, and I superseded that with kettlebell swings. And I know that that's more of a lower body movement, but the kettlebell swings really gets my heart rate up, so I wanted to incorporate them. Next, I moved on to the seated cable rows, and I'm doing underhand cable rows to kind of activate my biceps a little bit, as well as my back. And then I turned over and I did some mountain climbers to spike my heart rate once again. If you have a row machine, I would have used that, but I didn't see one in this gym, so I just sat on the ground. Next, I do these straight arm pull downs, and the point of these is to work on our lats. And I'm not trying to grow my lats that much, but it is nice for that bra fat kind of area, as well as kind of imitating, like I have a smaller waist if your lats grow a little bit. Um, you'll see that I don't really do a lot of wide-handed movements, but for this one, I do do a little bit more than shoulder width apart to really hit those lats. And then once again, the movement that I'm supersetting it with are speed skaters. And just going back to any straight arm, any back movement, pull down. If your hands are wide apart, you're gonna hit more of your outer back and as you move your hands closer together to yourself, like when you're doing rows and your hands are closer or pull-ups and your hands are closer, you're gonna be using your inner back more. So that's just a rule of thumb I go by to make sure I know which part of my back that I'm targeting. Next, I moved on to one arm dumbbell rows. And I don't like these because they're hard. For me, I just, Get my, it gets my heart rate up completely just doing these alone, but they are really good for your back. And I have done these for consistently for four years and I feel like they have attributed to my nice back lines that I have. So I keep doing them. And yes, I switched the weights um, and the reps based on what my goals are. So I wanted to do a little bit higher reps, so I dropped the weight down to 25 pounds. And then I did these side to side jumps, which are really hard and I was sweating a lot after I was doing those. So just be careful to make sure you don't miss the bench or fall or do anything like that. I know you, if you have a box around, you can use that. Uh, this was a little high, but it worked. So I just did these for a couple sets and moved on to my next exercise. Next, I paired a lower back movement with an upper back movement. So I just did these back extensions and I was trying really hard to make sure I wasn't going past parallel once I went all the way up and was squeezing my back and was extended. Um, I see a lot of people hyperextending their back and that's where a lot of back problems can come into play so make sure not to do that. And then I did these rear delt face pulls really targeted on the kind of like the back of your neck area but it gives you some really beautiful lines back there if you put these in your workout. That's going to be it from me for today. See you in the next workout. 